Although the bicycle chain might look like a simple loop of metal links, it is a highly specialized mechanical component, designed to efficiently transfer torque from the crankset to the rear wheel. Operating under significant loads and varying angular alignments, the chain must deliver a consistent power transmission, while enabling smooth and accurate gear shifting across complex multi-speed drivetrains. The chain is composed of multiple inner and outer plate sets, commonly referred to as links. There are usually 114 links on a new chain. Each link consists of a pair of steel outer plates and a pair of inner plates, all held together by rivets, also known as pins. In modern bushingless designs, the bushing is formed integrally with the inner plate. Between each pair of inner plates are two small cylindrical rollers. As the rollers rotate on these integrated bushings, they glide smoothly over the teeth of chain rings and cassette cocks, minimizing friction and reducing wear on both chain and drivetrain components. The holes in the outer plates are slightly smaller than those in the inner plates. The pin is pressed tightly into the outer plates, stopping them from moving. In contrast, the inner plates have slightly larger holes, allowing them to pivot freely around the pin. Some single-speed chains feature a half-link design. These chains are designed to enable precise chain length adjustments, especially on frames with short dropouts and small gearing setups, commonly found on BMX bikes. Half-link chains allow for breaking the chain at smaller increments. Half-inch instead of one inch, to get a more precise chain length. Bicycle chains are primarily made from various grades of steel. Higher quality bicycle chains are constructed from premium grade steel, manufactured to precise tolerances and often treated with specialized surface hardening processes to reinforce the pins and rollers. In contrast, more affordable chains are typically made from lower grade steel and may lack hardening treatments or low friction coatings. Some chains are lighter than others. One of the common methods of reducing weight is the use of hollow pins. Unlike traditional solid steel pins, hollow pins are drilled through the center, significantly cutting weight, while still providing the necessary strength to hold the chain links together. Another weight-saving feature is the use of milled or slotted side plates. Chain plates are often laser cut or machined to include carefully designed holes or cutouts. This removes unnecessary material while preserving the structural stiffness of the plates. Bicycle chains are often treated with various coatings to improve their performance, extend durability, reduce friction and resist corrosion. Zinc coating. Zinc coating are typically found on entry-level chains. This coating provides basic protection against rust and corrosion, especially in dry conditions. Nickel plating. Nickel plated chains are widely used on mid-range and high-end bikes. This shiny silver finish offers improved corrosion resistance and is easy to clean. Nickel also adds a modest degree of surface hardness. Titanium nitride coating. Titanium nitride is a ceramic-like surface treatment, often seen on performance chains, particularly those used in racing. It typically gives the chain a distinctive gold or black color. TIN coating reduces friction, increases wear resistance and contributes to a longer service life. Diamond-like carbon coating. Diamond-like carbon coating is an advanced carbon-based coating known for its ultra-low friction and exceptional durability. It creates an extremely hard surface that resists wear even under intense stress. Chains with DLC coatings are found at the top of the market and are popular among competitive cyclists who demand peak performance and longevity. Chrome and hard chrome coatings. Electroplated chrome coatings, usually applied to the pins or rollers of a chain, significantly improve surface hardness and wear resistance. Understanding bicycle chain dimensions. When choosing a bicycle chain, it's essential to understand the three key dimensions that define its size. Pitch. Pitch refers to distance between the centers of two adjacent pins in chain. On almost all modern bicycles, the pitch is standardized at half inch, 12.7 millimeters. The inner width is the space between the two inner plates of the chain. This measurement affects how well the chain fits around the teeth of the sprockets and chain rings. There are three common inner widths, 
1 8 inch 3.2mm chains are used in single speed hub gears, BMX and track bikes. 3 32 inch 2.4mm chains are common for 6, 7 and 8 speed derailleur drivetrains. 1128 inch around 2.2mm chains are used in 9 to 12 speed bikes. Choosing the correct inner width is important because it must match the thickness of the gears on your bike. A chain that is too narrow or too wide may cause slipping, noise or poor performance. The outer width includes the full width of the chain from one outer plate to the other. This dimension varies depending on how many speeds the chain is designed for. Single speed chains typically have an outer width ranging from 8.6mm to 9.3mm. 7 and 8 speed chains generally have an outer width of approximately 7.1mm. 9 speed chains have a narrower outer width of about 6.6mm. 10 speed chains are typically around 5.9mm wide. 11 speed chains usually measure approximately 5.5mm in outer width. 12 speed chains are even slimmer, with an outer width of around 5.3mm or slightly less. 13 speed chains are the narrowest of all, with an outer width of approximately 4.9mm. The pin length also changes with the outer width. On single speed, 6 speed, 7 speed and 8 speed chains, the pins often extend slightly beyond the outer plates of the chain. Starting with 9 speed chains however, the pin design changes. The pins are flush with the outer plates and do not protrude beyond them. This is because the space between cassette cogs becomes tighter. In such narrow setups, protruding pins could interfere with adjacent sprockets, causing poor shifting or mechanical damage. Some Shimano chains with 10 speed or more are designed to be directional. The key difference between directional and non-directional chains lies in the design of their inner and outer plates. Directional chains have chamfered side plates on one side to optimize shifting performance. If installed incorrectly, the chain can be noisy and shift poorly. On Shimano directional chains, the writing appears on one side only. If your chain is directional, make sure that this side faces outward during installation. Some quick links are also directional. If a directional arrow is engraved on the quick link, fit it with the arrow pointing in the direction of the chain's movement. SRAM flat top chains are not directional, but must be fitted with the flat edge of the chain facing away from both the chain ring and cassette. The flat side of the chain plates includes added material to reinforce each link, increasing overall strength and durability. Thanks for watching! I hope you found the information about chains useful. I'd love to hear about your experience with bicycle chains and whether I missed something, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Your support means a lot. Whether you're subscribing, liking, commenting or sharing my videos on social media and forums, every action helps the channel grow and I'm truly grateful for it. If you're enjoying the content and want to support the channel even more, consider becoming a channel member. It's a great way to help the channel thrive while gaining access to exclusive perks just for you. Joining is easy, just click the link on the screen or in the description below. Thanks again for your support and I'll see you in the next video.